This is my pit droid that I built from uh, Droid Division Designs out of the UK. Uh, the plans were purchased on Etsy under Droid Division and I 3D printed it, put it together, assembled it, made a Arduino uh, Nano insert um, with some help from uh, uh, John Guerrero and um, made a uh, instructables on it just to show where I got all of the resources from but this is uh, what it does it's got a PEIR or infrared sensor in the chest I modded the program so I could get that fitted in there and um, the droid detects motion in front of him out uh, he's uh, set for a range of uh, three meters so um, he, that's the minimum and it goes out to seven meters detection so um, he does uh, uh, quite a, uh, a good range of sensing. And I got 15 files in there of Star Wars sounds from various movies. And uh, I kind of made him uh, look a little bit used and abused. Uh, I made him uh, a maintenance droid for, uh, for TIE fighters. You'll see uh, his qualifications. So if we go in front of him. So I uh, put some Star Wars numbering on there, uh, so he's got a unit. Here's some, some information about uh, how many megahertz the antenna is uh, referencing. And I uh, used the uh, method of putting some quick seal caulk for the wear and tear. There's the sensor. I thought about making the plate the full size of his chest plate there, but I thought... <laughs> I thought it would look pretty good if we just uh, had like a seam there and uh, that's uh, Star Wars language for property of uh, the Galactic Empire and uh, get a little close up to the uh, abuse uh, that I did with the uh, quick seal so uh, just did some highlighting uh, this is grease I uh, used uh, black silicone clock for that and uh, these are various sounds uh, that I got off a soundboard, and uh, he took a big uh, hit there. And uh, then I guess the last little graphic is those are his qualifications. He's qualified to work on uh, those two uh, TIE fighters. So uh, um, here's the uh, back. Here's a little 5-volt uh, uh, jack that I got going into him. Put a little string. Uh, relief on there. I should probably maybe bend this down a little bit. And the speaker, I got to still 3D print a little grill, I think, for that with some screening that can just drop in there uh, so that the uh, speaker doesn't get damaged. But uh, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, just made it uh, look uh, pretty abused and uh, well greased and uh, a lot of fun. So he's completely posable. So, so it gets a little annoying uh, sometimes. So, uh, so sometimes uh, you just gotta unplug them when you get too tired of them. So, and uh, the the LED in the eye changes color with each uh, sound. So. Um, so depending on what sound number uh, he's playing, uh, he'll change. So, all right. So I, that's it. Um, so uh, hope you enjoyed my droid. All right. Bye.